What's up girls? Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you are here. Today we are doing episode 28 of our series Hashtag Dear Diary. If you're wondering what Hashtag Dear Diary is, it's my Devo or devotional video series here on my YouTube channel. I upload four Devo videos every single week. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I upload quick videos about life and God and let's go ahead and get into today's Devo. Go ahead and grab your phone, pull up the YouVersion Bible app, it's a free download, or grab your hard copy Bible, turn to Psalm 28, pause the video here while you take some time to read it on your own, and when we come back, we're going to talk about, like I said, what God was showing us as we read. Alright, now that you've finished reading Psalm 28 on your own, I want to share with you guys the verse that stood out the most to me when I read. Verse 3, Do not take me away with the wicked, and with the workers of iniquity, who speak peace to their neighbors, but evil is in their hearts. Again, another reason why I call this series Hashtag Your Diary is because I look at Psalms in the Bible as a lot like David's journal or diary. In Psalms, David wrote down a lot of what he was going through in his life and his prayers to God. And I look at this verse right here, do not take me away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity who speak peace to their neighbors, but evil is in their hearts. As David writing down a prayer to God, he's talking about how there's people around him and they're evil people, but they have a tendency to use their words to make themselves look good, to act like they're talking about peace when actually evil is in their heart. Remember, David was the king of his country, and he needed a lot of discernment to understand the different voices that were in his ear as the king of his country. It's the same with any political leader today, and it's also the same with you and me. We are going to have people in our life who give us advice, who talk to us about the situations we're going through, and sometimes the words they say are going to sound very peaceful, like, that sounds like good advice, but what we need to do is cry out for discernment from God and ask for Him to help us to understand what is actually good and peaceful and right, and what sounds peaceful, good and right, but is actually wrong and could be harmful. Discernment is a gift from God. It's the ability to judge well, or to look at a situation that has the potential to be a little bit tricky or deceptive, and be able to know, because God lives inside you, which is the right direction to take, and which is the wrong direction to not take, or which are the right words to listen to, or which are the wrong words that you should not listen to. Don't be afraid that you don't have enough discernment, but don't just do stuff because someone tells you, hey, you should do that. Just because it sounds good and peaceful doesn't necessarily mean that it's the right thing for you. So to sum it all up, there's going to be that pendulum that swings in your life. You're going to learn how to do this the more you practice getting discernment from God. You're going to go from super like overanalyzing things and thinking, I don't have enough discernment. I don't want to make any decisions, which is not the best option. And then you might swing over to the other side of the pendulum where you're like, that's a great idea. I'm going for it. And then you're going to balance out in the middle of eventually to where God is training you to have that discernment. He's helping you to use the discernment that's a gift from Him. So that's what I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow with another episode of Hashtag Your Diary. Alright, see you then. Bye.